In just the past few days, the U.S. has flown over South Korea with stealth bombers. Now they've sent stealth fighters and a guided missile destroyer. And it's all because no one likes what they're hearing from North Korea, the leader there, and no one knows what it means or how serious he is about his threats, including the current declaration of a state of war. He's believed to be 28 or 29 years old. He's young and untested. Just today, former U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta said the U.S. must be prepared and very concerned because we cannot know Kim Jong-un's motivations and intentions. It's because of that the U.S. is going ahead with a military statement of its own tonight. Our chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel has reached Seoul, South Korea tonight and starts us off from there. Good evening, Brian. South Korea thinks the North is bluffing. But Pyongyang is playing a dangerous game of brinksmanship, which the U.S. is matching with a show of force. Military exercises by U.S. and South Korean forces. A display of American F-22 stealth fighter jets. A U.S. Navy destroyer prepared to shoot down a North Korean missile if necessary. Overflights by B-2 stealth bombers and B-52s capable of carrying American nukes. An angry North Korea released an animation showing the planes being shot down. In fact, if you watch North Korean state TV, the country looks like it's at war. Pictures of U.S. soldiers used for target practice. Absolute leader Kim Jong-un says he's put North Korea's missiles at the ready, calling his nuclear weapons the nation's life. Secretary of Defense Hagel calls the North belligerent. Uh, it has ratcheted up uh, the danger. South Korea's president says she will respond to force with force. But it was calm here in Seoul today. It's all bark, they say. No bite. I really don't think people are, are thinking that they're going to come and actually attack us because, you know, America has our back. Most people here in Seoul think the North is bluffing. The question is why. Experts say Kim Jong-un is in the process of consolidating power and that he's generating a crisis to whip his people up into a wartime patriotic frenzy so they'll rally around the leader while he eliminates his rivals. He's threatening war to clean house. There are big changes underway. Look at this video from late 2011, the funeral of Kim's father, Kim Jong-il. The hearse surrounded by his hand-picked successors. Since then, nearly all of them have fallen from favor, except Kim Jong-un. The world's last Stalin estate, talking war to stay in power. Pyongyang's secrecy makes the old Soviet Kremlin look transparent. North Korea appears to want to pick a fight, and the U.S. says if it comes to that, it is ready. Brian? Richard Engel starting us off with what it's really like these days in Seoul, South Korea. Richard, thanks.